name was? Alice. Right. Well, Alice can make you both orgasm ten times in an hour if you wanted to. Alice actually can't do that. She's specifically programmed for therapy. <laughs> therapy. Yeah, well, remedial treatment is what they're calling it. She and us are paving the way for animatronics. So no, she won't fuck you. She's got a mouth, hasn't she? Oh my god, you're <laughs> disgusting! Hey, I'm just saying, according to the great British public, these things have a primary use. And it isn't fucking therapy. Alice is a new model. Prototype, actually. None of the great British public have anything close to her level of sophistication. They reckon she learns in the same way a baby does. Same neurons, same level of development an infant child mind has. It's basically just like you. Mm, AI, is it? No, I never said AI. That's what you meant? No, not at all. You don't think she's going to end the human race? Only if she has a reason to. Mm, funny. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying she's actually like as intelligent as us. I'm just saying she picks things up, learns stuff as she goes. No, they did say that though, didn't they? That we had to adhere to strict guidelines because of what an early model she is. So we couldn't, like, mess with her. You know, try and trick her and fuck with her head. Yeah, like normal non-sociopaths would do instinct. She definitely did. And besides, what part of this she was fucking normal anyway? I just meant I think she was trying to put us at ease. God. Papers love it, you know? It's a frenzy out there. The McCanns of Ireland, they're calling us. You shouldn't read them. How can I help it, Mark? They're shoved through our fucking letterbox every hour. It's temporary, all right? It'll blow over. There'll be some catastrophe and we'll be old news. They'll forget about us and then we can move on. That's what Alice is here to help us do. What were you and that woman talking about on the porch today? Oh, for goodness sake. Was she looking for an interview? I bet she was. She was probably wearing a wire. Sneaky bitch. Nothing. We talked about nothing. Oh, come on, Mark. If you want to fuck with the women, at least have the balls to run it past me first. Is that what you think you did? What, didn't I? No. Oh, okay. It's just a game. What? A game. Oh, really? Of course. What me and you did together, the role play, it was a game, fantasy. Like I said, just a game. And about you being a virgin? Complete <laughs> rubbish. I've been with plenty of people. <laughs> okay. I had you fooled, huh? Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> I guess I'm better at that game than you thought. Yeah, you really had me fooled. And, um... When you, when you said you loved me? Love you. How could I love you? We've known each other for a few months. That would be stupid. Right. You have nothing to worry about. I mean, I mean, I wasn't worried. I wasn't pining for you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Oh, it was. Sure. But that's not who we really are, is it? And all fantasies have to come to an end, don't they? We, we, we can't live our lives playing them, can we? No, no, of course not. We have to get real eventually. Mm-hmm, yeah. Eventually. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to tell you. I I'm glad you cleared that up for me. Anyway. Anyway. I really should be going. Of course. This has been fun. Yeah, maybe I will see you around. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait. <gasps> Two people meet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've never seen each other before, but when they do meet, purely, purely by chance, they get this feeling that they know each other from somewhere. I don't know, like a dream or something. One is young impulsive and uh, probably a bit naive to think that love will be easy. Uh, the other is a fool. Because when the chance for love comes, she just turns and runs. She's afraid to feel something real for once in her life. They both sound pathetic. <laughs> they are. <laughs>